Hey, I'm Randall Constant, and I'm Amazon Live at 141. And I'm I'm having a little um, I'm having a little problem here because it's showing that I'm not live. So I gotta see what's the deal here. Am I live? Am I not live? I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna find out real quick. Let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see. I I think I'm live. I think I'm live. Let's see. Yeah, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I Here. think I'm live. I think I'm live. Let's there we go. I'm, I'm live. live. <laughs> There's all kinds of things that could go wrong, without a doubt. No question about that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and check my carousel. I'm just gonna jump into my carousel right away just to get a get a start. I'm just trying to get a start, trying to get a start, trying to get a start, because I probably have to be writing a lot of Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. I I got one problem there. Okay, that'll do it. Let me see. Oh, man. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Man, I tell you what, it gets difficult. This, I'm really sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna jump in my carousel real quick. I'm just gonna see if I can get down the road a little, little down, little down the road. I got this Elgato Stream Deck XL in here. This is good for like gamers and people that live stream. So if you have, you know, if you're interested in getting into the live streaming world, or if you have sons or daughters, or you have nieces and nephews, or you have grandkids that are Get ready to get into live streaming. This is the way to go. Man, this Stream Deck thing is just unbelievable. I got it. Of course, I bought it at $249. <laughs> I bought it at $249. Now it's $216. Oh, man. But you see, it happens to everybody. It happens to everybody. You try to do the best that you can. But the deal is I didn't need the Stream Deck today. I needed it a few days ago. In fact, I could have used it six months ago. This thing is pretty awesome. Super awesome. Fantastic. In fact, when I went live, I actually hit the button on there and it made it go live. I don't I don't have I don't have to run from my mouse trying to do things with my mouse because the mouse when you get old you can't find out where to hit the mouse you know it get you know it's difficult but a big button you can hit that big button you know how you know how the older people got the big buttons on the phones well I got the big buttons on my live streaming situation all right let's see let's see here let's see I'm gonna uh, go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put something in the I mean, at least I'm going to put something down here in the chat. Let's see if I got it set up. Hopefully I got it set up. All right. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I do. Hopefully I do. Let's see. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm getting kind of getting kind of confused here. Yeah, getting kind of confused. All right. I got this $25 gift card thing later later today at 1010. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to do it to where it makes it easy for you to for you to get to it. Yeah, because it's hard if you don't know exactly when I'm gonna pull that name. Last night, last night I ended up crossing 1,000 followers. I cro finally crossed it. It took, you know, on for instance, like YouTube, a lot of people do things on YouTube and it takes forever and ever and ever and ever to get to that thousand script subscriptions. Well, on Amazon Live, it's tough too to get to the thousand. So I got to the thousand. Now I'm working on the two thousand. Now I'm working on the two thousand. Hey Tanya, how you doing? How you doing? Let me see. Let me see if I get this thing situated here. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Tanya's the first one on the. Uh, you know what? I'm just. I'll just. I just assume write your name down right now. I just assume write your name down. Let me write your name down for tonight's drawing. In fact. In fact, uh, Tanya, you haven't won yet either, so you need to try to get you need to try to win so that you get into the hat, that hundred dollar hat, the hundred dollar gift card hat, right, right, right. So you gotta just keep on trying. It might, you know, it might happen. You've been showing up, so I mean, sooner or later, sooner, sooner or later, it's gotta happen. Yeah, last night was last night was uh, last night was new. Yeah, last night was new. There we go. I knew. I knew I knew it wasn't Diane M last night. It was Angelo. 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 Choosing happy. Let me go ahead and put choosing happy. You see, I already have you. You don't have to stress out today. Choosing happy is already on the list. Choosing happy is on the list. Yep, yep, yep. Choosing happy. By the way, Calvin, uh, Calvin was going to do one with me today, and then he decided he wanted to go to sleep. So he's already sleeping on the job. 
sleeping on the job. I was hoping to have him today. But he is interested. He is interested in pulling the $100 name. I guess I'm going to have to set it up to where he can pull that $100 gift card on Mardi Gras Day. Hopefully I can set it up, set it up that way. I'm thinking I can, thinking I can. All right, I'm going to, all right, I got those two names. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, try to get, I got to try to get through this carousel because I never get through the carousel. I got to try, try, try. Let me get going. Let me get going. All right, well, anyway, $216 on this Elgato. It's a great price. Unfortunately, I bought it for $249, but I'm already got, I already got it set up and I'm already using it. And it's just going to, it's going to be so awesome because it's got sound effects and all kinds of stuff. So. That's just like when somebody shows up, I can, you know, I can make some noise, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get that situated today. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Rome wasn't built in one day. That's for sure. It's going to take me a while. Take me a while. Look, the microwave oven still at $59. This is a pretty cool, awesome, fantastic microwave. Now this is the toaster oven, but the, but the microwave, you know, it's kind of the same thing. It's retro. It's all about being retro. You can get you a red microwave, a red, um, a red toaster oven, and you get a red refrigerator if you want. It's all it's all retro. The only thing is they didn't have microwave ovens back in the day, back in the 50s. They didn't have it back then, so it's kind of it's kind of funny, but it's cool. Hey, look, if I could have a gazebo in my backyard, this would be a nice one. I, I used to have this in my carousel during the summertime, and the summer's coming back again. So I, I'm not going to wait till the last minute. I'm not going to wait till the last minute. The thing with, the thing with stuff like this. This thing with, the thing with stuff like this is that you got to look at it for a long time before you make the purchase. It's something that you think about. It might be three years, maybe five years, maybe seven years, but one day you end up getting one. Will I get one? Oh, I would love to have one, but, you know, that's how it goes. Hey, I'm going to jump on over to the swimming pool. This swimming pool I had in the carousel during the summertime last year. I don't know about you. The pool I had was <laughs> – I the pool I had went up to my – um. Didn't even go up to my knees. It went halfway up to my knees. That's the pool I had. I didn't have one like this. This thing is cool. I'd love to have this one, and it looks nice. You got to click it. Click it in the carousel, and then look at it, the big picture of it. It looks so nice. Looks so nice. I would love to have one. But that's kind of like on the wish list, you know? Hey, what? Oh, man. I, I could have sworn I saw this, uh, this item right here at $91 a little earlier. I saw 91, so I don't know what the deal is, but this this particular works. WG163 is always, always, always 112.79. They're stuck to that price. Stuck to that price. That price is always the same. Where's it at? Where's that? I'm gonna find it. Where's it at? Where's that? All right. I made some I made videos, so I gotta at least show it every once in a while. Here we go. Hey, I got the the works WG163 and I'm just gonna go ahead and knock a little grass out. So let's go ahead and let's check that out. Oh yeah, Yep, that does it. That's just um uh, Yeah, that's a uh, that that particular uh weed eater uh sold like crazy it was in my top five of all the things they sold it was in my top five top five top five let's see let me go ahead and put for those for all those that watch that don't put the voice on let me go ahead and put my 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 sign out let me put the sign out because if somebody's looking at it they might have to turn the voice on they might have to unmute to see what the whole thing's about yeah that the drawing's gonna be at 10:10 10, 10 tonight, just like it was yesterday, and the night before, and the night before, and the night before. Three, three in a row. I guess I gotta put CC. Look, I'm, I'm trying to get ahead of this thing. Yesterday was crazy. I had so many names to write down to make sure. So I got CC. CC, you're in already. CC, you're in, you're in the hat. You're in the hat. And I got my, I got the hat full of names. I'm gonna have to start with some new. I'm gonna have to start with some new names. Got to put some new names in it. Of course, most of the names are basically the, basically the same. There's a few people, you know, a few people show up. A few people don't show up, but they show up the following day or the next day or whatever. All right, so you're in. You're in, CC. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to worry. You got it. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna uh, let me get let me get this carousel going. I gotta get through this carousel because once once everybody starts coming through the door, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Anyway, this works WG163. 
even though Black & Decker was my number one selling brand last year. Yeah, when I started in May, June, July, August, September, that time period, that time period right there was my was the time when Black & Decker was in charge. Yeah, Black & Decker was my number one brand. But once we got close to the end of the year and health became an issue by getting healthier and knocking off those pounds, then Fitbit, Fitbit became the number one brand. How about that? Fitbit. Yeah, you would think it would be something else, but it, but it's not. Hey, who said that light can be in my way? Let me get this light out the way. Let me, oh, I don't want to get out the way. Oh, man, that's terrible. Uh-oh, that's one of my big lights. Let me see. I could turn the computer and get rid of it. Let me get rid of that light. I don't like that. All right. All right, I got that. Hey, you know what? I can put a logo up there. Let me put a logo up there. You know, there's all kinds of things that I think about doing, and I always think about them after I'm finished. It's usually what happens. King K, King K, Eva, Eva. Yeah, let me get Eva. Eva and Evans, Eva and Evans. There we go. Eva and Evans. Let me go. Let me go. I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve here. Eva, Eva, Evans, Evans. Okay, Eva and Evans. Oh, and Richard. <laughs> Richard. Let me get Richard. Got Richard. All right, Laurie B, Laurie B. Laurie B, is that it? Okay, and Dread. <laughs> All right, hey, my, I'm writing better. My penmanship is getting better because I'm learning how to write again. I got to tell you, next time I write a check, it's going to be easy for me to do. All right, we got. All right, we got Tanya choosing ha happy. A CC, Eva, Evans, Richard, Laurie, B, and Dread D. Dread D. Okay, all right, let's see if I get first down. Hey, let me. I got the pajamas, my wife's pajamas. I got to show this again. I don't have it in my carousel yet. It's in my carousel later. The deal is that this, these pajamas, they're in here somewhere. I'll show, show you. But the deal is these. Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to be looking at it that way. These things are stretchy. They're stretchy. They're soft. They're stretchy. So that, hey, okay, so that's my, hey, that's my clothing deal today. That's all I know. The thing is, I know she likes it, so that's the main thing. She's got like, I think she's got like five of them different colors. Yeah. Let me see. I can show you in the carousel. Let me show you in the carousel. Let me get, get, get in the carousel. Let me go over there by the carousel. Let me see. Where's the PJs? The PJs? The PJs? Let me see. The PJs are somewhere. Somewhere in here, somewhere in here. Uh oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that picture's pretty cool, huh? That crawfish, the crawfish with the with the corn. Yeah, look, those PJs are $32.29. $32.29. So my wife, what she does is if the price is right, she orders the pajamas. She's got all kinds of different colors. I think I think she's got three or four, three. I, I guess she's got five different colors. I don't. She's got a bunch of them. So the deal is when you find what you like, when you find what you like, then you end up, the best thing to do is back up the truck and buy a few pairs. Anyway, go ahead and click it, go ahead and click it in the carousel and then check and see what colors are available. It's funny, you know, a particular color is this price and another one's at this price and another one's at this price. And luckily the color that you're looking for is the one that's the right price. The, Okay, uh oh, it looks like I got more. I got more. I got to put awesome mom in. Got to put awesome mom in there. Yeah, awesome mom. Awesome mom. Let me get awesome mom. Awesome mom. Awesome mom. All right, I got awesome mom. I'm telling you, my, my writing's getting better. This, this is like taking a, a writing class. Never thought I would see clothes in your car. So you, ne you never know. Yeah. In fact, in fact, <laughs> uh, look, I got some, I got some dirty shoes. I got dirty shoes. Let me show you these shoes, cause these shoes. Okay, I got a, a one surprise after another, I guess. Let me go ahead. These are, these. Everybody knows these shoes. Now they're on the dirty side, okay? Just remember that. These are some Skechers. This is what this is what I like. This the Skechers are. I don't, I don't have it in the carousel. I'll put it in the carousel later. 
but since I'm since I'm colorblind to no end, I I wear black shoes, black socks, black pants, black black belt, and change the color of the shirt. And then of course I got my you know my my hat. I even got a black mask. Where's the black mask for? Yeah, I don't. Where's my mask? Hold on, let me find it. It's here somewhere. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I'm looking for my mask. Yeah, this is another accessory. Okay, so I got the black shoes. I, I got the black mask. Let me get. I got these. Got these at the beginning of COVID. And they worked, you know, they worked out for me. My wife likes it. I like it. So this is what, this is what we're wearing. It, it serves the purpose, you know, and it didn't, uh, it, you know how some that break real easy and then you got to throw it away and go get another one. Well, these, these, these hold up pretty good. I think I had one. In fact, I need to put one right here. So I have it. Yeah. Okay. I got my black mask there. Who knows how long we're going to have to wear a mask? I don't know. Who knows? But like I've always said, I wear the mask. I wear the mask when I go work out in the yard. And that's what that's why my shoes are dirty because I was working out in the yard. Yeah, so these <laughs> Hey, look. Skechers. Yeah, they're in they're in pretty good shape too. They're not too worn out. You see, I'm even showing you the bottom of the, the bottom of the shoes. How about that? All right. All right, Skechers. Okay, pajamas Okay, so I got pajamas on the on the women's side and shoes on the men's side. Okay, that's it for my clothing. That's it for clothes. That's it. That's my clothes. That's my clothing part. All right, I saw in it to win it is here. In it to win it. Let me get in it to win it. I think that's all I got to add. In it to win it. In it to win it. T. All right, I got it. In it to win. How's it going? Oh, one one thing I one thing I'd like you to do later down the road. King cake, king cake's coming to an end, you know, because it's like next week, Tuesday, and then later down the road, I'd I'd like this would be great if you just put, for instance, for instance, let me see if I see how good my memory is if I got any right. Oh man, this is this is a lot of pressure on me. All right, I'm a CC from New Jersey. Is that right? Tell me I'm right. I don't know. I might be wrong. CC from New Jersey. Did I get that right? CC from New Jersey. I don't know if CC is still around. CC is still around. Yeah, it'd be good if you put it. If you put uh, in the in the comments, just put your the uh, the city and state, the city and state, so that because I like it. Because like I like to do this. Okay, I like to do this. In fact, you can do it now, and I, I have time to add it. I like to say, Tonya from Kentucky. If that was the case, that's not the case, I don't think. All right. So if I, if I got the names, and it sounds better if you put the city in the state. If you don't want to, if you don't want to put, you know, if you don't want to put the city, that's fine. But this is this is the thing that this is the thing this is the way I look at it. If you tell me you're from California, that gives me an idea that you're from West Coast, but that don't tell me because Northern California and Southern California are like two different places. And and the same thing with New with Louisiana. If you're from Monroe or Shreveport, Louisiana, you're a lot different than being from South Louisiana. Especially if you're from Shreveport, because if you're from Shreveport, you're almost like Texas. You kind of like Texas. So te so Shreveport's kind of like Texas, and Beaumont, Texas is kind of like Louisiana, because Beaumont, Texas is on on the on the border. Can you guess where I live? If I give you a clue, Rand. Yeah, give me a clue. Oh, yeah, give me a clue. Give me a clue. Go ahead, give me a clue. Oh, Milwaukee. Choosing Happy from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. Uh, choosing Happy. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, that's good. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm moonlighting. I'm working in. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, I got to put John, John, I got to put John on the list. Yeah, I'm working early. I'm working early. Yep, I'm working early. Oh, it looks like I got, oh, it's a good thing I showed up early. I got a lot of names. I got Richard from San Diego. All right. 
I got to put, wait, wait, San Diego. Yeah, I got to make sure I don't think that's South Dakota. Okay, I got San Diego. Oh, let's see. Live, live free or die is your, oh. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm not a movie, I'm not a movie person. Alley Cat. Alley Cat, Ponchatoula, Louisiana. That's where Elmer Elmer's chocolate's from. Ponchatoula. In it to win it. It's, oh, okay. It's not a movie. All right. I, I you got me. You wait, wait, wait. Live free or die. Oh, I, I'm 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 messing up with the game because I'm not doing good with that one. Yeah, it's this thing. Ah. Oh, I, I you got me on that one. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You're gonna have to tell me. You're gonna have to tell me. I don't. I don't know. I I have been stumped. I've been stumped. Okay, I gotta put Alley Cat in here. John. John Greathouse. Oh, okay, okay. All right, you see, yeah. Um, oh man, in it to win it from New Hampshire. I got somebody from New Hampshire. Wow, that's hard to do. They got some good stuff that's made in New Hampshire that a lot of people don't know. The lint, the lint chocolate. The lint chocolate's made in New Hampshire. Where's that lint chocolate? Let me get that. Where's that lint chocolate? Yeah, let me get that. Yeah. Lint. Yeah, the lint chocolate truffles from New Hampshire. Let's see. Yep. Strat Stratum, New Hampshire, Hampshire. You see? So we're we're gonna tie the so we're gonna tie the lint chocolate to in it to win it, Tina. How far do you live from that the, the chocolate place? Because when you live in New Hampshire, you gotta pretty much know where everything is because the state is so small. Dread D, my favorite chocolate, lint. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Da da da. Cups frozen yogurt. Cups frozen frozen yogurt. All right. Yeah, that one you got. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. I want you. In fact, I ate. Uh, I ate a, a Ferrero Rocher today. I ate one. Yeah, it wasn't. My wife. My, my wife had one, so she she cut it in half. Calvin got half. I got half. Yep. I don't I don't usually turn down food. So if I got a chance, I got a chance. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Angelica, let me get Angelica on the list. Angelica. Okay, Angelica is on the list. Let's see, stay away from Lynn if you don't want to eat chocolate daily yeah you gotta hide it you gotta hide it so you don't see it that's definitely definitely positively yeah wait 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 wait. let's see i live in the southwest corner so i am massachusetts or vermont on a weekly basis yeah that's it's just well it's just like me i i i have a house in in uh new orleans and i have one in mississippi so I, it's kind of like um you go, you know, you go back and forth. What do you say? You're from New Orleans. You're from Mississippi. You're from New Orleans, Mississippi. It depends on where you are. So the deal is New Orleans is what everybody knows me by. New Orleans is what I usually talk about. But Mississippi, even though it's Gulfport, Mississippi or Biloxi, Mississippi or Pascagoula, Mississippi, guess what? They eat just like Southern Louisiana. They eat the crawfish. You saw the crawfish on the front. That's that's they do that in Mississippi. But you never hear anybody say Oh man, I love that crawfish from Mississippi. No, because New Orleans and Louisiana get all the all the attention there. All the attention. That's the way it goes. All right, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I got everything. Everybody, I gotta start. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it right from the beginning because yesterday was crazy. So many. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I got Tonya. I got Choosing Happy. I got CC. I got Eva. I got Evans. I got Richard from San Diego. I got Laurie B. I got Dread D. I got Awesome Mom. I got In It to Win It from New from the state of New Hampshire. John Greathouse. We don't know where he's from. 
Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to say, uh, I'm gonna say from Biloxi, Biloxi, Mississippi. Yeah, Biloxi, Mississippi. All right, John Greathouse from Biloxi, Mississippi. Angelica. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, I'll put Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. See, he don't know where he lives either. He's all over the place. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he goes. At, yeah, I get, I'll give you credit for Chicago. I get you spent a lot of time in Chicago. Yeah, you did. Let's see. All right, let me let me jump out of here. Jump out of here. All right, let me get let me get back to my. Oh wait, let me get back to my. Wait a minute here. Oh man, another wasted Coke. I didn't drink the thing from last night. Oh man, that's terrible. But I'm gonna drink this one. Hey, I got a question. Diet Coke or Pepsi? No, 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 no. Coke or Coke or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Or you could say Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke. Yeah, that's a dividing line. A lot of people from the north like Pepsi. A lot of people from the south like Coke. You can't take the Coke out of the south. If we're down here, that's. I don't. I don't know if you know this. You might not know this. But if you go in certain parts of the country, you know, somebody says, hey, you want a soda? And a lot of people say, you want a pop? But in but in New Orleans, you say, you want a Coke? But even if it's not a Coke, it don't have to be a Coke. Coke means it's something like a Coke. So it might be a Pepsi. So that's what we say. Hey, you want a Coke? You don't do that up. I don't think you do that up, up there, up north, do you? Is that selling them? Let's see, let's see. See, I'm a tough one for the total. Like cherry Pepsi. Better than cherry coke. All right. Wait, let's see. I'm a tough one. Where do they say pop? Where's pop? Dread, dread, where are you from? Dread, dread. Tell me where you're from. Dread, dread, dread. Tell me where you Happy, what do you drink? Happy, what do you drink? Oh, choosing happy. Hey, good. <laughs> choosing happy. That's good. That's good. Okay, so what's your favorite? So what's your favorite drink then? Okay, now I know. I was wondering why John asked that question, but then now I know. Um, what do you drink? If you're not drinking soda, if you don't drink Coke or Diet Coke, Coke, Coke or Diet Coke or, or Pepsi or Diet Pepsi. If you're not drinking a carbonated beverage, what do you drink? Are you drinking orange juice? Are you drinking water? Are you drinking juice and water? There you go, juice and water. Did I have a juice? Did you ever, did you ever, uh, did you ever drink those Izzy, the Izzy, what is it? Um, the Izzy juices. Yeah, there's something like the Izzy juice I talk about all the time. Oh, yeah, Dread. Okay, from Houston. All right. Houston. Look, it's going to take me a while to figure out everybody to try to remember all the names of where everybody's from. No, they say pop. Let's see. Coke. Reds, Coke. Regular Coke. Uh-oh. Do I have? Oh, I got to put BLH in. Let me get BLH in. All right. I got BLH. I got BLH in. Let's see, let's see. Got to get BLH. BLH, BLH. Carbonated juice is everything. All right. Well, I tell you what. The, the, the thing that, the thing is with Coke and the Coke and Diet, Coke and Diet Coke and the different drinks, we thought it was okay. You know, back in the, in the, Back in the uh, 60s and 70s, hey, they weren't talking bad about soda back then. They were talking bad about eggs. We had to hear for many, many years of everybody saying, you can't eat eggs, you can't eat eggs, you can't eat eggs. Been hearing that all. And then now we find out, oh, it's not as bad as we said it was way back in the day. But, yeah, we got bombarded with messages about, oh, man, eggs are bad for you. Eggs are like, there's a lot of people that say eggs are the perfect, the perfect food. By the way, that makes me, uh, I, I, I'm just thinking, 
I, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. I went to get eggs at a club store. And if you know where I live, then you know probably where I went. But at a club store, three dozen was eight bucks. That's the highest I've ever seen. Eight bucks for the eggs. What's the deal? Hey, eight bucks. Eight bucks. That's a lot of money. Because a lot of times that was $3.98 for three. Five dollars is one thing, but eight dollars? Come on, man. That's not good. I'm going to put Margaret. I got Margaret in. All right, I got Margaret. Margaret's in. Margaret's in. Bill, let's see. BLH. Four geese. <laughs> Four geese flew over job site today. Made me think of you, Ram. Yeah, I'm like great, Ram. Jinx me. The geese just going to find me. Uh oh, they're looking for your car. They got. You got to watch out. You can. You can't mess up. The, you can't mess with the geese. They're gonna be looking for your car. They really will. Yeah, you got to watch. The, the poor car is just sitting out there in New Jersey waiting for a geese to fly over. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's what happens. Is that what I hear? Or right. Yeah, 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 Tanya, $8 for, no, it's three dozen, okay? It's a three dozen club pack, but still, eight bucks is high. It's pretty high. So I, I haven't seen it at eight bucks. I don't think so. Even during COVID, I don't know if it hit eight. I stayed I stayed home with Calvin pretty much. Uh Gavin, let me get Gavin in there. Gavin, Gavin. All right, Gavin, Gavin. Gavin, let me put the B on. Amazon, hey, in market for a decent coffee maker with grinder. Budget. Ah, what's the re recommendation? Hey, look, I can I can Well, first of all, uh Amazon customer, you you could you could go ahead and go into your uh, settings and put your name in there to where your name shows up if you want to. But I'm going to show you the coffee. I'm going to show you the coffee machine that I have uh, a gr that's got a grinder. But I'm also going to show you a coffee grinder. I, man, you're just <laughs> – I cannot believe. I can't believe I have this with me, but I do. Look, this is a Cuisinart. Let's see. This is a Cuisinart. Cuisinart coffee bar, coffee grinder, okay? So, in fact, you can see the coffee that was in here. You can see the remnants right here. I still got them in there. Look. So, anyway, the good thing about the good thing about this grinder, I'm just showing you, and I'm going to show you a, a, co a coffee maker with the grinder because I, I have that. But, anyway, this one right here is good for, like, even if you're putting a – if you got walnuts or pecans or cashews or whatever, and you want to go grind them up to make cookies and stuff, this works pretty good. And it also works good for the coffee. Okay. The reason I don't have this is probably, this might make sense, I guess. We have a coffee maker with the grinder because we might lose this. Hey, if you put the grinder with the coffee maker, you can't lose it. Tell me you can't lose this because this is easy to lose if you put it in the wrong place. All right, here's my coffee machine. I just happen to have one, and I got it over here. Where is it? Well, first of all, first of all, I got to find it. It's right. Man, I wish I was faster. I wish I was faster, but I know it's here somewhere. It's a Bravo. Here we go. It happens every morning. I go ahead and go over to my Bravo coffee maker with grind control, and all I got to do is hit the button. That's it. And the coffee's going to be made. And I'll just back away and the rest is going to happen. Yeah, you could go ahead and grind your own coffee if you want to. But we we have it ground already because we're buying uh, community coffee with... Yeah, we buy the community coffee with chicory. I'll just show you this if I can find it. Now, where's... Where's my coffee? My coffee's here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Oh, hold on. Here it is. Yeah, we get, we get the community coffee with chicory. This is roasted in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is already ground, so we don't necessarily have to grind it in that particular coffee machine. But if I do get, I do get samples of coffee, I do have the, I can, you know, I can go ahead and, and grind it. I actually have a, a a very good friend I went to college with, and he runs a, a coffee distribution facility in New Orleans. So it's like, can you believe that? I mean, 
All anywhere, anytime you drink coffee in New Orleans, it might come from the guy. The coffee may come from the guy that I went to school with in New Orleans. Yeah, because he does all the independent coffee shops. Uh, but anyway, community coffee with chicory. My wife's been drinking this for like 35 years at least. I got it kind of like documented. Yeah, like 35 years. <laughs> Maybe it's longer than that, but this is good. But I also did this, look, just for Mardi Gras. Just for Mardi Gras, I got the Mardi Gras King Cake Coffee. And this is roasted in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All right, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And if you end up on a Southwest Airlines flight, guess what coffee you're drinking? You're drinking community. Yep, community coffee is being served on the airline. And the one thing I can tell you is that I don't even know how people drove, how, got on a plane without having any coffee. It must have been pretty stressful. I, I used to drive, I used to fly a lot on Southwest, but anybody that went flying during that time period must have had, oh, it must have been rough, must have been rough. Uh, let's see. John, you need 25 tickets. Wow. That's, yeah, you, that's about, if you get 25 tickets, you probably could, I might be able to pick your name. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see anything else I have to, I have that in my K cups. All right. K cups. Cool. Good to know. Thanks. So, Amazon customer, I, I, What's the chance of me just happen to having a coffee grinder right right next to me? What's that chance? That's the chance is very slim. What's the chance of me having a coffee maker with a grinder already? Not many people have that. They usually buy coffee that's already ground. They don't have that. So so I might not be the I might not be able to tell you the the information that you want for a coffee maker with a grinder. Um under 150 bucks, I might not be able to tell you about that because I would just be searching it. I just search coffee, coffee machines with the grinder, and I could tell you what I find, and that's about it. But if I had used one, I would let you know. If I knew one was great at under 150 bucks, I'd let you know if I knew. Okay. So the one thing about Amazon is that there's millions and millions of items, and there's no way that any one person can know know all the stuff. So at least. I think I've been a, I think I've been a little bit of help, maybe not completely. Now, some of the people that actually, that are obsessed with coffee, and there are a lot of people that are obsessed with coffee. They know all the different machines, but that's not that's not me. Let's see, let's see. Uh, so I hope I hope I answered your question. But anyway, Amazon customer, yeah, why don't you go ahead and see about. Um, yeah, by the way, if you're not following me, hit that follow button. Yeah, hit that follow button. Please, please hit that follow button. I can use that. I got I just got over a thousand followers yesterday. Finally, it took me it took me 10 months, but I got a thousand followers. Now I'm working on 2,000. Working on 2,000. Working on 2,000. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, so if you can hit that follow button, that would be helpful. All right. Let me see. Let me jump into my carousel here. Jumping back into my carousel. Let's see. All right. I got that gazebo. Hey, John, look at that gazebo. That's the same gazebo that, that I had last year at uh, a $29.99. Now it's $32.99. That's a little bit of the inflation. That's a little bit of the inflation that's happening, I guess. It's uh, three. It's 300 bucks more. I got that pool in there. I'm trying to think of what it was last year. But anyway, that pool's nice to have. I talked about the works at 112.79. That was the number one selling wheat weed eater for me. It was in my top five total best selling items. So the so the price is pretty much set at 112.79. The lowest price I ever saw. No, John, you gotta wait to 1010. <laughs> you gotta go at 1010. 1010, John. 10. If I if I if I did it now, I. Uh, it, it would be difficult. It would be difficult. Yeah, I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that later, John. Hey, I got to pick up a little business before I get too aggressive, you know? <laughs> hey, I got this. Uh, I, I got to wait for my uh, my uh, kayak sales to come in. My kayak sale, my kayaks are going to start selling in a little while. Soon, soon, soon. Anyway, the this kayak, I, it was an accident. I was I was in my I was putting together my store. I don't know if you know my store, 
Let me see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I have it right over. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. If you if you go to Amazon.com shop made in USA foods, I think you'll see the store. I guess you'll see the store. Anyway, I was putting together. Well, anyway, I'm going to put Bernadine's name down. Let me put Bernadine. All right, Bernadine's name's in. You're in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so anyway, I was doing the... I was doing a fishing section, so I had a friend that was over, and I went ahead and went through a bunch of fishing stuff, even though I haven't been fishing in a long time. You know, the ice chest, the, the fishing line, the net, uh, the, the fillet knife, you name it, all that stuff. And then I accidentally saw this, this kayak here, and I said, wow, it looks pretty nice. It looks nice. It's cool. I like things that are I – like, I like the color, yellow. I like yellow because you can see it. You can see it. That's, what, that's what's good. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, but anyway, I put it in the, I put it in my carousel, and next thing you know, it was a top five seller during the summertime. In fact, three of the top ten items I sold during the summertime were kayaks. And the funny thing, the, the funny, the funny thing is, I never been in a kayak. Never been in a kayak. Maybe it needs tax fare for more. <laughs> yeah, I got to. Yeah, they, hey John, she might, she might be able to take the train over here. Yeah, they're. They're supposed to be putting the train together from New Orleans to, to Biloxi, Gulfport, uh, down the road. The train's going to be coming. Yeah, so maybe you'll be able to go back and forth in, to New Orleans on the train. All right, got the ice machine in here at 129. I, I didn't turn my ice machine off last night, so I got me some ice. All I got to do is get my, get, my, um, get my scoop. I got my scoop here. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the ice down. And I'm gonna trick the ice machine into thinking that it's empty. So now it's gonna make me some more ice. But I but last year, last year I had the GE ice machine in here, and that was 549. That's what I had in my carousel last year. This year I got the Frigidaire at 129. But it's been known to go to 99. So it's just you gotta keep an eye on it. But I like it. I like it. I you know I you know when you buy something for a, for a hundred bucks, but you want something that's five hundred bucks, and you buy the hundred bucks, and you think you're gonna be disappointed. Well, I wasn't disappointed. It makes ice every eight minutes, and it does the job. Okay, it's not a GE. It's not one of those GE ice machines that makes the great ice, but that's okay. That's okay. You can't have everything. You can't have everything. Let's see. The ice maker is super cool. My fridge is crazy slow to make ice. It drives me crazy. Yeah, Tanya, it's so. Look, downstairs is where the refrigerator is. I'm working upstairs, just to just to have ice up here, not have to go downstairs. It's just a big time saver for me. And and the thing that makes it really cool is I get to show you. Can you see? You probably can't. Is I guess the ice machine is out the. Oh, let me knock out this. Let me knock this out. Hold on, hold on. Oh man, now that thing's. See, there's the ice machine. Look, there it is. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there's the ice machine making ice right there. There it is. Yeah, so it's working. It's getting ready to make some ice. But anyway, it it makes a it makes about a pound of ice an hour. So if you had if you had company coming over on Saturday, and and you got 10 people coming and you think you need more ice, you could go ahead and, and fill up some uh, Ziploc bags and just save it for Saturday. And then you would have the ice that you need. Then you don't have to go buy a bag of ice at the store, especially if, you're, especially if your ice machine doesn't make much ice. Now, when, when I fixed my ice machine in my refrigerator last time, it cost me 300 bucks. If I would have known about this, I probably would have left the one in the refrigerator broken and I would have got the one for the side. I would have done. I would have done that. Maybe, possibly. Yeah. So it's it's 129, but it was 106 not long ago. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was 106. But if if you hang with it, if you you know, 
if you want to get it for the summertime, and we're only in February, in the next 60 days, I think you'll see it probably 109, maybe 112 or something like that. And if you want to, if you want to get a nice machine, then that's a. I'm happy with the results. It's working out pretty good for me, I would say. All right, so that's the ice machine, ice machine. I'm just telling you what I think, okay? As you look, I have no sponsors, no sponsors whatsoever. I just pick whatever I want to pick. I just pick anything out of the out of the Amazon warehouse, and I happen to talk about it. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it's up here. Look, it's up here. Yeah, it's up there too. Yeah. So I'm giving I'm giving uh, Frigid Air some uh, I'm giving Frigid Air some uh, attention there. Look, the Frigid Air is right on top of the uh, the Instapot. I really, I really, I really like the Instapot just because of the fact that it can cook all kinds of different ways. So that's great, man. That's a good looking piece of corn, I can tell you. Wow, Jeff, do I have Jeff? Let me see if I got Jeff in there. Jeff King Cake too. Let's see, let's see, Jeff. Do I have Jeff? I don't know if I got Jeff. I don't think I have Jeff. Let me put Jeff in. Jeff. All right, Jeff. Jeff is Jeff is gonna be in the hat in the hat tonight. Yep, his name's gonna be in the hat. All right, Victoria. Yeah, there you go, Victoria. There we go. Victoria. Victoria Diaz. All right. All right, Jeff Seattle. Okay, good, good. All right, it just makes it it just makes it so exciting when you when you talk about the names. Well, I'm just hey, that's the way it goes. Let me see if I got all the names. Jeff from Seattle, Washington, Victoria Diaz from Washington. We got Richard from San Diego. We got Dred D from Houston, Texas. We got in it to win it. Tina from New Hampshire. That sounds more exciting instead of saying I got John, Jim, Susan, and Bill. Come on. It's more exciting when you know where everybody's from. Yeah. And then uh, the next thing you know, you find out that somebody that's been in the in the chat lives 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away. Okay, I got a, I got a story about how how small the world is. Back in 1998, I was working with a skillet meal manufacturer, and we do we were doing chicken stir fry, chicken fried rice, shrimp fried rice, shrimp uh, chicken fried fried rice. We we're doing shrimp linguine, uh, beef pot roast, you name it. And they got the sauces that go into the skillet meals. So I'm I'm talking to my neighbor, which was a hot sauce manufacturer. You know. The plant's probably pretty close to the Tabasco plant, not the Tabasco plant. But anyway, my neighbor was making sauce. So I asked him, I said, are you making sauces like, you know, like in the bottles like this? You know, this is, this is all, well, this is olive oil from Texas. Hey, Dred, hey, Dred, this is from Texas. Yeah, Texana brands. So Texas makes, Texas grows olive, they have olive trees all over the place. Yeah, I heard they had like 5,000 acres or something like that. Anyway, let's see. Maybe I completely forgot where I was going with it. Yeah, so so the deal is the guy said, no, 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 we're doing we're doing the little bags. Let's see if I got the little, no, I don't have it here, but the little sauce bags, you know, like when you buy uh, chicken fried rice, then they got the teriyaki sauce in, in the chicken fried rice. So you cook your chicken fried rice in a skillet, and then you add your sauce. Well, anyway, the guy that was my neighbor said, no, we don't do the retail bottles anymore. We do the little packs that you put in, you know, put in uh, to the vegetable, whatever's okay. So I said, well, uh, would you be interested in selling the company that I'm working with right now? And he, he, he said, yeah. Anyway, to make a long story short, the company was in California and he was talking to my neighbor about changing. So I was talking about changing the hot sauce, changing the sauce manufacturer, and the guy actually lived next to my house, and the and the guy that originally called them was two thousand miles away. That's how small the world is. So when it was all said and done, 
we ended up changing to my neighbor. We changed our sauce manufacturing to my neighbor. And we ended up buying sauce from that same manufacturer for a very, very long time. There's something about loyalty, you know? And we bought product from them for, for a long time because it, it depends on it depends on having a good uh, good working relationship, and it worked out really well. They they made a great product at a great price, and you know we sold a good bit. Just so you know, when I started in '98, the company had zero sales. I was the only guy, only sales guy, other than the owner. I worked with brokers all over the country, just like you, just like you're all over the country. That's uh, I worked with brokers that had that lived. In different cities all over the country, we went from we went from zero sales in '98 all the way to 73.9 million. Well, just think about that. If you're selling 73.9 million dollars worth of skillet meals, guess how much sauce we bought from my neighbor? A lot, because the sauce is a big part of the skillet meal manufacturing deal. So anyway, that's how that's how small the world is. Uh, there was a manufacturer up. There was a manufacturer up in Washington that got it all started. Uh, let me. Uh, I can't think of the name. Um. Uh, anyway, the skillet meal manufacturing the the business, the category. It was all discovered in the nineties, in not, right around 90, 96, 97, 98. That's where it all started, and it became a big deal. Do you remember? Skillet Sensations from, from Stouffer's. Skillet Sensations doesn't exist anymore. But at the same time, Green Giant, Tyson, um, many major food manufacturers got into the business of making the vegetables that you mix with the sauce, that you mix with the protein. But before that, remember Green Giant? Green Giant had the, the vegetables, remember? Where they said, add your own meat, remember? They used to say, hey, here, we got it all set up for you. Just go ahead and add your meat. The skillet meal just went to the deal where they got you everything that you needed. All right, Donna B. Do I have Donna B? I don't know if I got Donna B. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I got Donna B. I don't think so. Donna B, Donna B. Donna B, Donna B. All right, I got Donna B. I wrote it down anyway because I don't think she's on there. Nope. All right, got Donna B. Donna B is going to be in Calvin's hat. Donna B, Donna B. Okay, it says, oh, all right. I'm like, it's time for some some frozen food history. Uh, let's see. The cookbook diva says, what were the TV dinners that came in blue boxes that had beans, rice, and cheese enchiladas? My brother and I begged to have those, and my mom rarely indulged us because. They were frankly not healthy. Well, not healthy is one, but not, and they were on the expensive side too. I mean, I, I remember that being on the on the higher side. Uh, the blue box was Swanson. Swanson's the one that started, but I don't think you're talking about Swanson, are you? Um, in the early days, it was uh, Morton's. Morton's M O R T O N. Morton's TV dinners. That's what that's what I grew. That's what I ate when I was growing up. Morton's M O R T O N. But yeah, remember, you know, all the people, all the people complaining, oh, it takes too long to cook this. You remember the TV dinner? You had to put it in the oven and you had to wait 30 minutes. And if you had fried chicken, you had to wait like 35 or 40 minutes because you had to open the foil so that the crisp, so that the chicken could get crispy. But I don't know about you. Maybe it went, oh, banquet. Yeah. But I, yeah, the, the thing was, the thing was back in the day, the, the Mexican TV dinners were usually a brand that did Mexican TV dinners. And the uh in the TV dinner business kind of stayed away from the Mexican. I don't remember like Mart. I don't know if Martin's had a Mexican TV dinner. I don't know. Patio, patio. Patio was the patio was big with burritos too. Uh let me show you. Burritos, burritos. Yeah, some of the old brands. You got Jose Olay. Jose Olay's big in the Mexican food category. 
And you got uh, El Monterey and Ruiz, R-U-I-Z, Ruiz and El Monterey. Back when I was back when I started my broke my food brokerage business in 35 when I first started that back back in 87, patio had the burrito business. They were the they were they dominated the burrito business. But this company out of Danuba, California. Well, they weren't in Danuba at the time, but they opened a big facility in Danuba. They sent me burritos and I went show them. I went show them to the to the local chain stores. And I remember people, I remember one particular buyer telling me burritos don't sell. <laughs> well, 35 years, you know, 30 years later, I got to tell you, they sure do. Burritos are burritos are mainstream USA. Every a lot of people eat burritos. Let's see. Tanya says my girls will not eat ravioli at all. I live those things in a can. Come on, we live in that in the eighties. Yeah, the ravioli in the can. Yeah, what I ate, I grew up with spaghettios. I grew up with spaghettios with no meatballs. If you had meatballs in your, if you had spaghettios with meatballs in your house, you were doing good. You were doing good. We didn't have. We just had the spaghetti. Yeah, we had the spaghetti. We didn't get the spaghetti with the meatballs. So you had to take a. If you had a pack of hot dogs, you had to cut your own hot dogs, and then that was your that was your meatballs. You threw the hot dogs in the in the spaghettios. It was a big deal. It was a big deal. Now I don't know if this is true. I don't know if this is true today. But at one time, the place that ate more spaghettios than any place in the country was Utah. Utah was the spaghettios capital of the world. Utah. Let's see. I practically lived on frozen burritos when I was a poor college student. Yeah, yeah. I I would say burritos were what you lived on, and then this ramen noodle thing. I I never got. You know, I never was into the ramen noodle thing, so I don't know. Did ramen noodles? Yeah, I I would. Yeah, ramen noodles were a thing, but I I'd say I I ate a lot of burritos. That was fast food. That was fast. I don't know about you. I'm a little different, but I like I like Mexican food. The TV dinners, the Mexican TV dinners, if I like to eat them cold the next day. If I got if I got half of it left or whatever the deal is, if somebody got some left, I like to eat it cold right out the refrigerator. That's me though. That's me. That might not be you. Let's see. Oh <laughs> yeah, the ramen noodles. The ramen noodles. The ramen, two of the ramen noodles end up in the top 100 on the grocery. I do the top 100 grocery and gourmet foods, and two of them end up in the top 100, chicken and beef. Chicken and beef. Chicken and beef. That's it. Let's see if – let me see if I could – might have been Swanson's. Okay. Well, then I did – Swanson's was known for their turkey, the turkey dinner. That's where it all started. The Swanson basically – if I'm not mistaken, the reason the way Swanson got started is that after Thanksgiving, if you had too much turkey, if you didn't sell all your turkey, you needed a way to get rid of the turkey. So that's I think that's where they started slicing the turkey and making TV dinners. That's where it started. And it, now it now it's a big deal. That's a big deal. But turkey's what I think of with Swanson. With Swanson, yeah, definitely. Let me see if let me check to see if I got any more stories up here. I, I I can't possibly read all the stuff coming through. Yeah, I do. Cookbook Diva says I have a lot of Northwest people here. Yeah, it looks like I, I got West Coast is definitely at, West Coast is definitely uh, represented. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I'm looking, looking. I think I got. Like I say. Yeah, Mardi Gras around the corner. It's Tuesday, right around the corner, right around the corner. Alan, and I got Alan in. Yep, I got Alan. I got Alan, 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 Alan. Uh oh, Serene. I don't know about Serene. I don't think I do. I gotta put Serene in there. Serene. I gotta tell you, I'm writing better. I'm writing. Wait, wait, what, John? You said something's from 1932. What's from 1932? 
All right. Since I'm on Mardi Gras, I just want to show you. Wait, hold on. I don't, I don't have a king cake in the house right now. I don't have a king cake up in the house, but I do have, I do have my, uh, I do have my Zaps potato chips. Yeah, the Zaps potato chips. Every, in fact, let me. I'm looking for my coffee. Let's see. Every year around Mardi Gras, two manufacturers that are real big in Louisiana convert to Mardi Gras. So you got the you got the Mardi Gras chips and you got the community coffee, the king cake coffee. Yeah, they, they make a lot of this too, quite a bit. So anyway, these are two things to look for during, you know, during Mardi Gras. Yeah, all right. Let me see. Let me get further down. Let me get further down. Denise, yeah, I got to get Denise in. Got to get Denise in. Let me get Denise. All right, let me write Denise, Denise, Denise. All right, I got Denise in. All right. Donna B and Denise and Tanya's already in. Uh, uh, do I have Tink? I don't think I got Tink. Let me get Tink. All right, I got Tink and Tink going in the house, going in the hat. Tink. All right, the 80s and 90s. Yep, they're gone. Yeah, it was a lot more. A lot. It was a lot. A lot more. Uh, a lot more simple back then, for sure. All right. Hey, if you're, fo I know almost, that, I know everybody's following me already, but if they're not, you need to follow me. Let me see. My follower count is uh, at 105. Um, yeah, let me see what my follower count. Let me see if I, let me see. I think I'm back up to two. I think I'm. All right, I'm at 1,004. Let me go ahead. Unfortunately, I lost one of my followers, but I'm at one. I'm still over at 1,000, so that's a good. That's good. Let me go ahead and back up one here. I'm at 1,004, and today is 293 days in a row. 293. So let me get to the 293. 293. All right, 293. Now save it. Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I got that right. My follower account is currently at 1,004. Help me to get to 2,000 before Amazon Prime Day. I have been on Amazon Live for 293 days. I'm only one week left to go to get to the big number, 300 in a row, 365. Here I come. A $25 gift card giveaway at 1010 p.m. Just like yesterday. Just like yesterday. Hey, I could just leave that there. Oh, I could also do this. Let me put this up just in case somebody's not unmuted. A lot of people end up muted. They don't know what they don't know what's going on. Oh, here's Calvin. Oh, let me get that one out. I'm gonna have to get now. I gotta get the banner out the way so you can read that. Yeah, let me get that off. I'll leave that there for a second. Stacy M, I gotta put Stacy M in there. I'm not forgetting Stacy M. Stacy and let's see, Stacy M and Roberto Jr. Stacy M. Stacy M. Stacy M and Roberto Jr. I don't think I have Roberto Jr. And I don't think I I don't I don't have it. Roberto Jr. All right, I got Roberto Jr. in there. Looks like we already got 20-something people already. Almost half of, almost half, there goes my voice. Almost half of the people have already, have already checked in. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm talking so much. I'm talking so much. I'm losing my voice. I got, I can't lose my voice. That would be bad. I'd be out of business if I lose my voice. So I got to take, got to take care of my voice. Oh yeah, Tanya. Yeah, the 
The pit bulls and parole paroli place, yeah. That's uh that's been is that still that's still going on or did they finish did they finish uh uh filming that? Is that still going on? I don't know. Um I kind of lost ever since I started doing Amazon Live, I kind of lost touch with TV, you know. I kind of lost touch with TV. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's still still going on. My son likes Calvin likes to watch uh Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul. I think it's in like the 23rd season. That doctor's pretty old. Hey, he makes me look young, right? I'm young compared to Dr. Paul. And my job is not as hard as Dr. Paul. I don't want Dr. Paul's job. Man, he he's got a lot of he's got to do a lot of stuff. I watch Jeopardy every night. It's a nice half hour wine glass fireplace ritual. Uh, cookbook diva. Yeah, there you go. There you go. The cookbook diva. Yeah, by the way, hey, uh, go ahead and go ahead and put your um link up. Yeah. I I I dropped in the cookbook diva place today. <laughs> hey, she drops into my place. So I, I, I was passing through before I, I signed on and the cookbook diva was on. So she was inter I she was interviewing and just talking about cookbooks. It's it's a good thing because if you you know if you like cookbooks, then you're definitely gonna like you're gonna like what they talk about on Cookbook Diva. You gotta probably know how to cook first of all. Probably <laughs> if you like cooking, that's a place. So go ahead and put your. Oh, okay, that was your coworker. Okay, I didn't at first. I didn't think that that was the. Uh, I didn't think that was the cookbook author. I saw it long enough to kind of figure it out. But yeah, go ahead and follow the Cookbook Diva. The cookbook diva. Yeah, especially if you like cooking. If you like cooking, that's a that's a good thing. All right, let me see where I, I am on my carousel. I think I got to the I think I got to the Bravo coffee machine. Look, the Instapot Duo, Chris, it's at it's at 149. So the price is okay, but it's not it's not super awesome and fantastic. It's not that it's not there yet. But anyway, 119 is the low is the price that I, I've seen it five times at least five times at 119. So that's the price that you're looking for. If it goes anywhere near that, I highly recommend this particular piece of equipment. It's great. That's why it's up there. Yeah. Hey, they don't they don't sponsor me. That's that's there because that's what I believe ought to be there, and that's why it's there. That's why it's there because it it could cook it could do so many different things. Okay. If all you're going to do is air fry and you're never going to cook any kind of way, then all you need is an air fryer. But if you want to have the ability to cook all kinds of different ways, that's the way to do it. Right there, look. Right there. And the price, when the price gets anywhere near 119, that's buy time. Buy time. This Breville Coffee Maker is at 299 usually. It's at 280. It's rarely, it's rarely discounted. So it's down 20. The lowest price I ever saw was 239. 239. This Nespresso, same thing. Lowest price I saw was like 239. It happened one time. It's usually in the 274 to 294 ballpark. That's where it's at. But if you want to make those Nespresso's, which I'll, there must be a lot of people doing it because five of the top 50 items on the on the top grocery and gourmet food items for Amazon, five of, of the top 50 are pretty much always Nespresso. So if they're selling that much Nespresso coffee, or espresso, then there's got to be a big demand for the makers. Hey, this is the number one heater. The winter's not over yet. So I put the number one heater up here at 28 bucks. The price, it's down, you know, 20%. It's 20% off of its price. It does sell at that price, $35.99. You know what I don't, you know what I don't care for is when somebody says it's 30% off of a particular price, and then it's never that price. I don't like that. If you're going to say that you're going to save 20%, in this case, I want it to be at that regular price sometime. And it is. You see, like in their case, that's what that's why it's the number one selling heater because because they don't play those they don't play those games. It is that's the price. Hey, you got greenworks, you got this snowblower. I'm still waiting for the snow. Hey, John, I don't know if you're still here, but is there any forecast for snow in Gulfport or Biloxi or Pascagoula anytime soon? I don't think so. So I guess I'm not going to get that. 
but it does get cold in my house and you know we do get some cold weather every once in a while and this and this uh blanket is pretty awesome it's got 20 well this is not 20 it's 5 10 15 20 settings 20 settings and it's hot too it gets hot and that's all you want you want to if you're cold you want to you want to warm up and believe me this blanket will do it definitely now the price is high because it's a king size you can check out you can click it in the carousel just click it in the carousel and you can find the pricing on the smaller ones but anyway i i highly recommend it there they got their they got their stuff together i like the the controls are pretty well they're they're pretty well made uh, it's a pretty well made piece piece of uh equipment there i like it i like it i like it hey the nordic track nordic track that's the number one selling treadmill last year it was my number three item in sales number one was westinghouse a westinghouse generator was number one last year in 2021 number two is duramax another generator how look you know what if you don't have a generator for energy guess what you don't have nothing you need a generator if you lose your power you need a generator that's why these two items were did so well so Top two items are generators. Number three was the Nordic Track. That's right here. The Nordic Track. Number four was the Fitbit. Number five was the printer, the HP printer. I sell a lot of printers, a bunch of printers. And the one I have in the carousel is the one that sells the best. All right, you got the Nordic Track at 649. It goes 10 miles an hour, and it goes up an incline at 10%. If you can do 10 miles an hour at a 10% incline, good for you because not many people can. Then you go to the Xterra. The Xterra at 739. That goes 12 miles an hour. If you go 12 miles an hour, you're doing good. And then of course it folds up and everything. It's it's in the top 10 as far as sales on treadmills are concerned. It's in the top 10. So you have two good choices. And the deal with me is that I spent 25 years on a treadmill. I know about treadmills. Yeah, I know treadmills. I'm not. Let, let me let me ask this question. I got a question for you. When you exercise, do you use a treadmill? I, I'll just say this. I think some people do treadmill and that's all they do. You know, you do walk and run and treadmill. That's all you do. Or are you the person that wants to do everything? When, when If you're going to work out, do you do everything? Do you concentrate on doing everything? Or do you concentrate on just walking or running on a treadmill? That's a that would be interesting. That's an interesting question. You tell me. I'm the guy that spent the spend the time on the on the treadmill. You know why? Because if you if you take if you take a hundred hundred and fifty pounds or two hundred pounds and you move it five miles, guess what? You're gonna sweat. That's all I got to say. You're gonna burn some. You're gonna burn some energy. So the deal is, if you're knocking off the pounds, you don't necessarily have to do all the different things. Do one thing good, and and the treadmill is a good way to the treadmill. The treadmill will help you tremendously to knock a few pounds off. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing. I'm trying to keep my voice. My voice is uh, kind of slipping out, slipping out. I'm trying to keep it in. I used to always tell me, as long as I keep my voice, I'm all right. Now I'm now I'm trying to keep my voice. Yeah. So I got the uh, so the deal is with the treadmill. The treadmill, and it, you know, in this case, I, I, you know, I've showed this several times. If you don't watch what you're doing, you end up like me. You end up on the on the heavier side. It can happen. It definitely can happen. But you see, uh, that treadmill, not the treadmill. I, you either got to use the treadmill or the Fitbit. Either go walking through the park, walking through the through, you know, walk on the beach, walk through the mall, walk through the grocery store, walk somewhere. Do a lot of walking, and you can knock off the pounds. But you got to do the portion control thing and then here's the here's the fitbit here's the fitbit deal so i got serious this year i haven't been serious I ha i've been having fun eating i've been having a lot of fun eating look all the stuff i got back here look i mean that's a lot of stuff to stay away from oh you know what i did though you remember when i got those uh halloween oreos well i know I never, I never opened them, but I did open them a, 
two or three days ago. And guess what? Those things are good. I don't care. I don't care if the cream is orange. It's good. I mean, it's really good. I forgot how much I like Oreos until I opened another bag. I like the red, white, and blue ones. I don't know if they're here. I don't know if they're still around, the red, white, and blue ones. The red, white, and blue ones came in. They were in for uh, they were in for the Olympics, you know, during the winter, during the summertime. I wish they were, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe they're still around. But my favorite was the red, white, and blue ones. Those were those were awesome. All right, I gotta put I gotta put Seattle fifteen fourteen the the Seahawks. And I had to paper paper consumption at my house is way up, man. Writing all these names down. Seahawks fifteen fourteen. All right, Seahawks 15-14 is in, is in. See, was there anybody else that slipped in that I didn't see? Oh, yeah, let me put Chris. I don't I don't know. Hey, Chris, I don't know. If, I don't know. Let's see. Where's Chris? Where's Chris? All right. You, you got to keep that money maker in good shape. You got <laughs> lemon tea. That, that, that does it. That does it. Yeah, I got to keep. I got to keep that thing going. Let me put Chris there, Chris. Hey Chris, I saw your um your um your GE Good Ice video. Yeah, Chris, uh, that's in the chat right now. Chris Stone, he just made a comment two minutes ago, so he's probably still here. He made he did a video on the the GE uh, Good Ice ice machine. Now that one that one spent all summer long at five forty nine, five forty nine. On Amazon Prime Day, it went down to 449. When we got to the end of the season, I saw it go as low as 515, and I saw it go as high as 579. But then when we started the year, I think it was at 488. Chris, you might know the price right off. I think it's 488. That's the last price I saw. But anyway, if you go to check out, if you check out the the GE ice machine, the the Opal. What is the Opal? The Opal, is it Opal? I think that's, if you go check it out, you'll see he he did one of the videos about the ice machine. I think he did a three minute, three minute, four minute deal and you could learn all about the ice machine. So you could, you could find out about the 500 and, you know, the $500 ice machine. And then of course you can watch me with the, with the hundred dollar ice machine. Everybody has a different budget. Everybody, that's the deal. Everybody is a different, just like, I'll just say this. It's just like this. This is a great example. You see these headphones here. Well, not these, not the Bose, the QC35 twos, but the Sony, for instance, this is $350. I almost lost my voice there. This is $350. But on Amazon, you can find a Sony. Wait, this is Sony. <laughs> yeah, this is Sony. This is $350, $348. But you can find, you can find a, a some headphones on Amazon for $9.99. Now, what you tell me, $9.99 and $348, that's a big difference. Yeah. So some people want a $9.99 one. So if they they lose it or forget it, no big deal. You don't want to lose these. I guarantee you, you spend $348 on this. You're not going to put it on the seat, on the train, on the subway, or on the plane. You're not gonna put it on the side and forget about it. You spent 348 for this, believe me. Anyway, this is this is pretty awesome. This this is a good piece of equipment. Sure, for sure. Yeah. So anyway, everybody's got a different. Some people are happy with a nine dollar and ninety nine cent headphone, but when they buy an ice machine, they might want a five hundred dollar one. That's the thing that's hard to that's the thing that's hard to keep up with people to figure out what everybody wants. What about a phone? A phone's the same thing. Some people like the, the some people like the phone that's free. They like the free phone. That's all they're interested in. They don't care what it can do as long as it's free. That's what they want. Other people, they want all the bells and whistles. Everybody's all over the board. I got I gotta add, I gotta add Kmart Kelly. I gotta add Kmart Kelly. And I gotta add candy, because I think candy's new. Hey, candy. I, I'm testing my memory here. I don't think I have candy. No, 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 I don't. All right. Candy and Kmart Cali. Candy. 
Kmart Kelly. All right, I got Kmart Kelly. Kmart Kelly is a is a previous winner. Her name is going to go in the hat. Her name's going to go in the hat. And there's a bunch of other people that have won already. They're all going to go in Calvin's hat on Mardi Gras Day. And uh, we're going to pull one out of there, and somebody's going to get a $100 gift card. Man, you can buy some good stuff with $100. <laughs> yeah, you can buy some. You can buy, you can buy, you can buy, you can do okay with $25. At least if you're hungry, you can find some good stuff to eat. Yeah, you got that. All right, let me go ahead. All right, Alan, 10,000 steps. Hey, hey, Alan, kick it up to 15 and you can have that double cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, hey, Alan, what were you eating yesterday? You were eating something, I think. Somebody was saying somebody was eating something. Something, something. Uh, yeah, hold... The whole deal with Alan is the, is the deal about doing the 10,000. It's every day you got, man, you, uh, the deal with live streaming is that it keeps me away from walking and I don't get the, uh, I don't burn anything <laughs> standing here. That's the only bad thing. But other than that, that's the way it goes. I can tell you, I'm proof, I'm proof. Walking, walking will help you lose weight because this is all I did. That's all I did was walk and portion control, walk and portion control, 115 days, 51 pounds in 17 weeks. It's all about putting up the numbers every day, every day. Yep. That's what you got to do. All right. Alan says hamburger, cabbage, cheese cooked inside a bun. Yeah, I'm not a big cabbage fan, but the hamburger sounds good. All right, Serene. I sure, I sure, no, I don't. I don't, wait, wait, let me see. I don't. Yes, I do. I do. I have your name. Yes, Serene, I do have your name. Yep, I do. I got gotcha. you. All right, let's see. The deal with the, uh, the Fitbits at 225, this is what, this is, this is a great, this is a great investment. This is what I, this is what I have now. Keeps track of everything. It gives your your resting heart rate, and that's good. You want to know how hard your your heart is working while you're sleeping. That's always a good thing. It tells you how your skin, how hot your skin is. It tells you when you're breathing, when you're when you're sleeping, when you went to sleep, when you woke up, uh, how many times you you know how many times you woke up in the middle of the night. Did you go in a deep sleep? Did you go in a REM sleep? Did you go in a um, uh, slight slight sleep? I forgot. Uh, light sleep. The, it tells you everything. All right. You don't have to have that. Any any one of the Fitbits will give you this app that works pretty good. Yeah, the app works pretty good. So you can get the Fitbit Charge 4. I saw the Fitbit Charge 4 was 115. That's a pretty good price too. Like I say, different people want to spend different money on different things. The, the Charge 4 is a good thing. Now the one thing about this is, and, I, and I'll say this, is that I know it's a lot of money. I know it's a lot of money, but that's money on your on your health. If you get your, it's just like your finances. If you know how much you make and you know how much you spend, then you know if you're getting richer or poor. If you know how much, how many calories you're burning, the watch will do that. And then you keep track of what you're eating. If you do the portion control and send it to the app, the app, the Fitbit app will take care of that. So if you know how much you're eating and how much you're burning, you're going to know whether you're going to get heavier or lighter. See? Just like money. Same thing. Same thing. Uh, Prince of Shadows. Let me see. Prince of Shadows. Prince of Shadows. I don't. I don't think so. All right. Got the Prince of Shadows. All right. Prince of Shadows is in. Prince of Shadows. Sorry about that. Uh. Let's see. I got Candy. I got Serene. I got Prince of Shadows. I got Alan. I got Donna B. Donna B. Making sure. Looking again. Donna B. On you came more Kelly. Victoria, I have Seahawks 15, 14. I have. I got Chris Stone. 
I got Chris Stone. I got John Greathouse on there. Did I put, let's see, did I put the cookbook diva? I don't, did I, did I, did I? I remember talking about it, but uh, talking about your show, but I didn't put it. So let me put the cookbook diva. We got plenty of time between between now and 1010, cookbook diva. And like I say, cookbook diva, if you, the cook. The cookbook Diva's uh, link is in the chat if you want to follow her. If you like cookbooks, she's a good one to watch because she talks about cookbooks all the time. I talk about the food that goes in the cookbook. I talk about – she talks about the book. I talk about the the raw ingredients that you need to, to go ahead and do the cooking. All right? So, so we work. work. It was a special scale. It was a scale that – kept track of everything and I figured I needed some help. And I figured it would make it legitimate that if I did lose some weight, I could document the journey and I'd have something good to go with it. So guess what? I probably said to myself, I, I spent $115 for that scale. I better lose some weight. And I did. I lost 51 pounds. So anyway, you get to buy it at 39. I paid, I paid 130 and I was happy to pay it at that time. But anyway, $39. You can get a white one too if you want. If you rather a white one, you got black and you got white. All right, you got the Greater Goods Nutrition Scale. It was in the 50s. Now it's in the 40s. I bought mine at 37. That scale is, is pretty good. In fact, I wonder what I did with it. Oh, here it is. I got that Fitbit. I got that uh, that scale here. Got the scale. The scale comes with a book. Comes with a book. It's got 2,000 food items on here. 2,000. Oh, it'd be nice if I put it right side up. Yeah, it would. There we go. Yeah, download the food code app. I might have to do that myself. Yeah. And then somebody had a great, super awesome, fantastic idea. Hey, let's put the nutrition facts deal on the scale. And they did. Not only did they come up with a great idea, they, they actually went through with it. They actually manufactured it. And it works, too. So that's cool. So this is just another motivator to help you knock off the pounds. Because I'm, because if you're like me, you need to knock a few pounds off. Some people, some people need to gain weight. Some people need to just maintain it. Some people need, you know, uh, many people need to knock off a few pounds, including myself. So the deal is that's a great way. That's a great tool. And the deal is it doesn't matter where you start as long as you go in the right direction. Like right now, I'm going in the wrong direction. I need to go in the right direction. So sooner or later, I got to wake up one day and say, hey, I got to spend more time walking like Alan, <laughs> walking like Alan instead of me being on Amazon. Maybe I got to cut my Amazon live time. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'm back. Kick off for a minute. Did you get kicked off on the chat? Yeah, like I say, I, I've said this several times. Sometimes when I'm watching David on Utechpia, I get kicked off, and I didn't say nothing. <laughs> and I'm just so I so the algorithm is kind of like, uh oh, here's Randall. Let's get rid of him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So I wait, and so I go to somebody else's uh, chat, and then I'm able to put it. I'm able to put it in. I'm able to chat. Okay, I go to another one. I'm able to chat. I come back to David, and it won't let me in. What's going on? I don't know. All right, 23 and me. The 23 and me is uh Yeah, the 23 and me. You got the 23 and me and you got the nor the uh ancestry DNA and and the thing about this is you got to be hydrated. It's all about being hydrated. Cuz that's what happened with me. I was dehydrated. And when I took the test it didn't work out too good. I'm talking about for 23 and me. I did 23 and me. I did 23 and me eight years ago, but my my 98 and a half year old mother-in-law did the ancestor DNA. You got to come up with the the saliva sample. You put the you put the the sample container in a bag. You you seal the bag. You take the bag. You put it in a box. You seal the box, and then you bring it to the post office. You don't have to worry about filling it out because it's already filled out. You don't have to worry about paying postage because the postage is already paid. How cool is that? It works out great. So. And then you get some great information. You get to find out where all your all your people come from. 
mine, 99% of mine came from Europe. And it was interesting to see the different countries. You thought most of it was from this country, but it ended up being from another country. Yeah, so it was all over. Let's see. Yeah. Victoria, you got you got muted on Tyler's one? Yeah, you see? All kinds of crazy things happen. You don't even have to say anything and you could get you could get muted. So anyway, the chat, I've I've noticed the last few days that the chat's been kind of kind of kind of a little crazy lately, you know, kind of on the crazy side. So I, I can't figure it out. Can't figure out the chat. So I guess the chat has its good days and its bad days. All right, let's see. I've gone to the Blue Yeti. I wonder if things like that are because of the app versus computer. Yeah. Hey, by the way, um, I, I find that the uh, that if you follow somebody, if you go ahead and hit the follow button. Oh, yeah, let me. Yeah. Yeah, please follow me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, if you follow me and you go to your applications on your let's say on your phone, go to your phone, go to applications and hit notif and hit the notifications deal and then set it to be notified, then you'll find out when I, you know, when I come on. Because you never know. You never know. I, I did the best I could at 555, but you know, after a while it gets kind of difficult. Hey, uh it gets it's a you know it's a different story if you uh, if you're if it's a if you got promotion behind a particular time if you're spending a lot of time and money to promote a particular deal at a particular time then it's a different story then at least then at least uh, it's definitely worth it to show up at that particular time but I'm just doing the best some kind of way I don't know today's 293 days in a row so uh, Tylena. Uh, Thanks so much for uh, following. Hey, I could use all the followers I could get. Yeah, most of everybody that's in the chat follows me already, but I could use I could use a few extra few extra. I think that might put me to one thousand and five. Let's see. Let me check. Let me check. One thousand and five. Am I at one thousand and five? I'm at one thousand and five. Let me go back. Let me go back and let me go back and check that. Check that. Check that. One thousand and five. Where's it at? Where's it at? 1005. Yeah, it says I got 1004. Well, I, I got 1005. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Let me go ahead and change it while I'm at it. Yeah, let me go ahead and put the five in there. All right, got the five. See how I can do that all by myself? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, I can put this other thing too. Let me go ahead and put this. Yeah, I can put this. Please follow me. Please follow me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, I could do this. I can also do this. I could make it blink. Yeah, but I got to stay here to do the blinking. Okay, I probably got somebody's attention. All right, let's see. Yeah, right, <laughs> Victoria. Yeah, that's a bad. That can happen. So it's it's not a good thing. Are you, let's see, are you an extreme couponer? I'm not an extreme couponer. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I I talk about a certain amount of things that I don't, and I don't really, I'm not, I'm not into the coupon thing. If the price is right, that's what I, that's kind of what I do. I don't follow the, I don't, I don't get into the coupons yet. One day, somebody's going to show me how that works, and I'll be able to do the coupon thing. But I've had, I haven't been able to set it up properly. One day I will. Somebody's going to call me and say, I'm going to help you do that. <laughs> I'm waiting for that. When I, when that happens, then I might get some coupons in the, in the deal, in my shows. All right, let's see. Hold on just one second here. I'm going to try something.
I'm trying to um, send a notice that I'm that I'm online. I should have sent it a little earlier. Oh, you want to become an uh, an extreme uh, couponer? <laughs> Let's see. Amazon, Amazon Live, Amazon Live. All right. There's a lot of there's a lot of things to learn for sure. How things some things you can't figure out. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm going to get a little further. Trying to get a little further. Trying to get a little further. I ended up on, uh, let's see, I had the treadmills. I had the, had the scale. 23 and me. All right. You got the blue yet? The blue yeti at $79. I paid $95, $95 or $99. If you know somebody getting into live streaming, that's a great gift. That's a great gift. Um, I've been using it ever since I started. Hey, I got this Samsung 43 inch in here at $377. I talked about it when it was $497. I had it in my carousel when it was $447. I had it when it was $397. Now it's $377. I have one right here. I have one right there. I got two big TVs right on the side of me. Yeah, 43 inch Samsung. That's what I got. And then one day I might be able to pick up this Seagate uh, hard drive. This has got 16 tetrabytes. I might need it just to put all my put all my Amazon lives on. Those Amazon lives take a lot of space. Yeah. So anyway, three twenty nine. That's the lowest price I've seen. I've been on. I've had this in my carousel for five months, and this is the lowest price I've ever seen. Three twenty nine from Seagate. Now you can click it in the carousel, click it in the carousel, and it could bring you to some other to some other brands that could be much more competitive. You can see some other ones. Hey, here's that HP I told you about. This HP was 189 for a very, very long time, and it was my number five overall bestseller in 2021. Number five, but it went up. I guess they got some inflation because it went up to 199 and it went to 209. But the price is very, very stable. It stays there. I wouldn't doubt if it stays at 209 for six months. It wouldn't surprise me. Very, very stable. Uh, I have. The la at least the last three printers I bought were HP. That's what I have. A lot of experience with that. Hey, this Honeywell thermostat, I got two of them. <laughs> I, I was lucky, okay? Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. I, I got these. I picked these up for $99 during, during uh, Black Friday, early Black Friday. I thought, I, I thought it was the deal of a lifetime at $99, but it went to $87. <laughs> For a short period of time. Then it went to 84, 75 for a short period of time, but it was gone. The deal was gone. Hey, I got the Lake Crusade in here at 179. And yes, it is a very, very expensive. It's in a very expensive pot. That's what I say. When I first heard that the, the price, I was like, what? 179. That's high. Just like the one right here. That one's over 500 bucks. That's exactly what I said. $500. That's exactly. But anyway, the the consumers that buy this particular pot really love it. They love it a lot. In fact, it's got a 4.9 rating on it. And there's not many there's not many companies that have that. By the way, if you know anybody that's got higher than a 4. Point, if you know anybody any any item that you've ever seen on Amazon that's got a 4.9 rating, let me know what it is cuz I don't know. The only one I know is this Lake Crusade. Hey, you got the Black & Decker hedge trimmer at 103. That's a great price. I paid 126 last summer. If you need one for the summer, don't wait till the summer cuz last summer it was 149 the whole summer. The whole summer 149. So you got to kind of you got to buy it when the price is right. Hey, by the way, I can add music to my to my program. Uh-oh. 
Oh, well. I don't know what the deal is there. It's not playing. Well, you see, you you, you add things to your your setup, and then it messes other things up. All right. Anyway, I was going to add some music because I could, because I could, but it didn't work out. Here we go. Here's the hedge trimmer. This is the Black & Decker 22-inch hedge trimmer, and I'm going to show you what it can do. I got all these branches I need to get rid of, so watch out. Watch how it does with the branches. Anyway, it cut, it cut, it overperformed, it did really, really well. I was happy with the result. At 126. Yeah, so the deal is, what I liked was that undercut. When I cut that branch on the top, and I came and hooked it from the bottom, and it broke, and it went through, and it didn't stop, I was impressed, because that was a big branch. So the, so the thing that they say is that as long as the branch is not bigger a, that has a diameter of bigger than three quarters of an inch, then you're okay. Then you're okay. So I'm looking at like a hardwood, like an oak tree. If you're three quarters of an inch, that's probably going to be the hardest wood that you're going to probably have to cut. And if you can cut that, then you're you're in good shape because because if you get some of the softer woods, there's a lot of soft woods that it probably can be more than three quarters of an inch, and you could probably get through it. You know, so that worked out okay. I worked with it on bamboo. I got bamboo coming out all over the place in my yard, and it cuts it. It goes through it. Yeah, gotta. Yeah, you have to be very. That's what I say all the time. I have. I usually have the. I usually have it right at my feet, and I pick it up and I show it. You have to be very careful because that 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 will cut things off, and usually they don't go back, and that's the problem. So you have to be. You have to be very careful with it, but it did cut up some stuff. Hey, I got this DeWalt table saw. It spent the whole summer at $3.99, okay? So you know. So if you're looking at doing some projects during the summertime or the spring and you're planning on needing a table saw, if you see that dip any lower than what it is at $3.99, you might need to, you need, might need to buy it because it didn't spend much time below $3.99 during the summer. I would say. At least 80 of the 90 summer days, at least, at least 80 of the 90 summer days, it was at 399. It stayed there. Hey, look, I got the iRobot Roomba in here at 249. The, the Cyber Monday price was 179. About three weeks, it went back down to 179. So 179 is kind of like the low price. That's the price you're looking for. So if you if you decide you want one, and it gets anywhere near that 179 price, that's a pretty good price. I'd get it. Now, if you're interested in the real expensive ones, you could always you could always go see French Glow, the French Glow on Amazon. That's David. David's got a few of those. Or you could go see Elizabeth on the Countess of Low Carb on Amazon. And I think she has each and every one of them. So she knows all about them. So if you wanna if you wanna get more information, you could look, you could check out another live streamer. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. We're going to going to the battery section. During the summertime, since it, since I was right off of uh, repairing my house after Hurricane Zeta, when I first started doing Amazon Live in May, I had just finished fixing up my roof. So I figured, well, what am I talk about on Amazon? If I get approved on Amazon Live, what am I talk about? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is food because I know food. After spending 45 years in the industry, I know a few things. But I also know I've been through a few hurricanes. So I figured, well, you know what? I'll talk about getting ready for hurricanes. You know, just the basics, nothing complicated. So every day I talked about the stuff that would be nice to have if you get involved with a hurricane. Now, did I know we were going to get one? No, I didn't know. I thought we had got enough the year before. The year before. Louisiana got five hurricanes, five of them. So I didn't think that, you know, I thought that's a whole bunch. Louisiana, I read this. Okay, I read this, okay, and I think it's about right. I think you could say it's about right. 
you know, Louisiana gets a hurricane, not a tropical storm, hurricane once every 2.8 years. Okay, so with my math, that's uh, like 14 years worth of hurricanes in one year in 2020. So I figured in 2021 we'd get we'd get a break. Well, I was wrong. Hurricane Ida came through and, and created havoc. Yeah, so anyway, I guess that has a little bit to do. Yes, I know the feeling I just got my house flooded during Ida. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got I I got my flooding during Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, and the flooding thing is a, you know, it's it's a mess up. It's it's not nice. Let's put it that way. And we were terrified when that damn when that storm, when that storm was coming through. We were terrified because that thing was bad, Hurricane Ida. And we didn't know where it was going, but we knew that when it when it hit South Louisiana, South Lafouche, right out in, you know, around Grand Isle, when it was coming in, around Terrebonne, South Terrebonne. I know Terrebonne area pretty good too because I spent when I was in the grocery industry, I worked in Lafouche Parish and Terrebonne Parish, and that's where the hurricane went. That's where I'm from. So the so the deal is when that was coming in, we were like, who is going to be lucky enough to get hit by this storm? It's complicated. It's complicated because you don't know what, you know, you don't know what to do. So the thing I couldn't, the thing I that I was really surprised about is that it was going like straight for my hometown and then it curved to the right and went around it. But you're still going to get messed up because it, it passed close enough. But then when you went, when you went to the, uh, to the east, you started getting closer to New Orleans, and that wasn't good for me either. So I was gonna, I was gonna be messed up regardless. Yeah, in some kind of way, it was gonna hit something, and it, it, it did. But we were terrified because when you have, oh, oh, it did go over Ponchatoula. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. So the, so the, so the deal was that. Yeah, I'm originally from Thibodeau, and I know quite a few people out in that area. So if it goes there, that's bad. If it goes to New Orleans, that's bad. If it goes to Mississippi, that's bad. So I didn't. I, there was no way of you know getting out of this deal. So um, I didn't. I didn't get a. I didn't get the direct hit, but you still you still get a little bit messed up. But yeah, Alley Cat, if she was in Ponchatoula, she. She was in a she was in a bad spot. Yeah, she definitely in a bad spot. You don't even have to have a hurricane nowadays. Nowadays, I mean, if you get 20 inches of rain, it don't need to be called a hurricane. 20 inches of rain will mess up some places. All right, I got this this 17.3 HP at 16 at 6.99. I got three of them. I'm just telling you. I look. I, I'm not in a situation where I'm on. I'm gonna. I'm going to have 10 computers, and I'm going to say this computer is better than this one, and that one's better than this one, and this one. No, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to tell you. I got three of them. And if I if I bought the first one, and I bought another one, and I bought another one, what does that tell you? I was happy with the results. So I got three of them, all right? So that's $699. It's good. It's good if you're do if you in business, and you, and you need three Excel spreadsheets, and you got not so good eyesight. You need a seventeen point three. Don't get no small one. You need the big one. Anyway, seventeen point three. If you fly on the plane, it's not too good because you can't, you know, you can't get comfortable. You can't move it around. When that, <laughs> when that goes on the on the table and in, in the plane, you don't have no place to put your drink. Yeah, it takes up the whole table. Now, if you had a smaller computer, then you would have some room. But guess what? You wouldn't have that big screen. So you got to decide what you want. Let's see, Alley Cat. Yes, it was scary. I agree. We had trees down and power lines down everywhere. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Thank you. I will stay for another. Thank you. I will never stay for another strong hurricane like that. I don't blame you. I get. I. I get out. Well, for Hurricane Katrina, we left. For Hurricane Katrina, we left at four. I think it was four, four thirty in the morning, and I'm thinking. Everybody might be sleeping or something, you know. You know, people will leave late. Um, well, that wasn't the case because at because at four o'clock in the morning, that that I ten was like a parking lot at four a.m. in the morning. <clears throat> so 
So it takes us about an hour to get to Baton Rouge out of Metairie, out of Metairie, Louisiana. It usually takes us an hour, but it took us three hours to get over there. And the, and the thing is, when we went to the, when we, stopped, when we stopped at the first gas station, I couldn't believe all the people that were looking for a place to go to the bathroom because it, because it wasn't built to have 58 people stopping by to go to the restroom. So it was a mess. It was a mess. But after we got three hours, after we got past Baton Rouge, it wasn't too bad. And we drove all the way to San Antonio, Texas. We were there early. And then later down the road, a lot of other people got there later. Yeah, so that was, you know, that was strange. That was a strange time. Yeah, so we stayed 22 days away. It took 22 days for them to say, come on back in, come on back in. That's the bad thing, you know, when you leave, you, you don't you don't control when you get to go back to your house. You know, you don't control that. So that's the problem. All right, I got this uh, sofa love seat in here. It's got two, it's got two, it's got two holders. Yeah, you want to drink some, uh, <clears throat> some Propel Immune Support. With vitamin C and zinc. Yeah, you can put that in the cup holder. What about if you want some uh Celsius? Man, I don't know what the I don't know what the deal is. Why is it selling like crazy? Do you, does does anybody drink this stuff? Tell me. If somebody drinks this, let me know. Tell me what flavor you drink. Yeah, because this stuff's on fire on Amazon. It's number one selling item. I don't know if it is today, but it's been like that for the last couple months. Yeah, the Celsius. You drink it? Let me know what flavor. What flavor? What flavor? Oh, oh, by the way, I'm going to, yeah, this is, um, I'm going to go ahead and ask this question. Today's National Tortilla Chip Day. Today's National Tortilla Chip Day. So I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to ask this question. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Go into my LinkedIn account. Let's see. I asked the question on National Tortilla Chip Tortilla Chip Day. I wanted to see. I wanted to see if if the. Oh, you see, I'm. Here we go. I'm not normal. <laughs> anyway, I asked the question, what's your favorite tar Tostito chip? The four answers are original, hint of lime, hint of lime, habanero, or salsa verde. Okay, what would it be? Tell me. Does anybody, you have a favorite tortilla chip? Which one is it? So anyway, when it was all said and done, in this case, anyway, 50% of people said original. They just want original chips. That's all they want. 36% said salsa ver verde. And 14% said hint of lime. I like the lime one. Man, the lime one is awesome. I love the lime one. You can see it came out third place. Yeah, so I want the lime. The lime is what I like. I think there's, I think there's a few. Oh, let's see. Stacy M says original. Stacy M. Let me see. I gotta put. All right. I got Stacy M. Stacy M's on the list. All right, Stacy M, you're in the hat for tonight at 10:10. Kmart Kelly says hint a line. Stacy M says original. Candy says original. Let's see if there's any. No one is normal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you see, I'm not I'm not going with the red I'm not going with the original. If I could have lime, man, that lime is good. See, Kmart Kelly agrees with me. I'm on there already. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's one. Alley Cat says no one's normal. That's the that's definitely the truth. Yeah, everybody's everybody's different. Yeah. Once you think you're like everybody else, you find out that you're not. All right, let me come back here. Man, that. Reginald Hinnelon. 
I'll have to try it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's good. That's all I got to say. The hint of lawn. All right. Well, just like me, when I used to, I eat, I eat a lot of shrimp, you know, during my, in, during my lifetime, okay? I've eaten a lot of shrimp, and I eat shrimp by itself. I don't have to dip it in anything. Me. That's me, okay? I don't have to dip it in anything. And then my wife, no, 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 John, it's 10-10 tonight. 10-10 tonight. 10-10 tonight. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me check out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me check out the chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm back. I'm back. You see? How about that? 30 second timer. Um, yeah, I used to eat, I used to eat shrimp. I'm talking about boiled shrimp, okay? Boiled shrimp. I used to peel them and they were seasoned with cayenne pepper. And you know, you know, these guys right here, I don't have I don't. All right, like Zatarans, Zatarans make seasoning for uh for shrimp. You see, that's enough seasoning for me. That works for me. Zatarans. But the deal is, um, that I was happy with that, and I did that for many, many years. But then later down the road, my wife, my wife, uh, she, she, uh, she squeezes the lo the lime. You know, she squeezes the lime and puts it in the bowl, and then she dips her shrimp in the lime, and then all of a sudden, I start eating it that way. Oh man, that's good with the lime, you see. And that's next thing you know, I'm eating chips with lime and whatever. So you see, things change. And then oh, if you like lime. Wait, where is it? Here. You might want a bang. Yeah, here you go. Key lime pie from Bang. Now, if you if you drink this stuff, it's got a lot, it's got a lot of ca caffeine in it. It's got 300 milligrams of caffeine. 300 milligrams. Okay. So if you're driving from San Diego, California to Pensacola, Florida, you might want some bang to get there. Yeah, you know how it goes. When you start driving, you think you got all this energy and you don't. You lose your energy. Yeah, bang. Key lime pie. Yeah, it's big time in Miami. Big time in Miami, the key lime. I don't know if you... Um, uh, they had a program called The Prophet. The Prophet on, on CNBC. They had a show called The Prophet, and they had a story. One of the episodes was about making key lime pie in... Uh, in the Keys. Yeah, I think it was in the Florida Keys. They had an episode about that, about the key lime pie. What they did was they put the key lime pie on a on a popsicle stick or something like that. But anyway, if you like key, key lime, that's that's an interesting thing. Uh, but there's all kinds of flavors. Let's see. I had the Late Crusade. I got the Black & Decker. I got the Saw. I got the iRobot Roomba, the batteries, the, the deal. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going, I'm going the other way. <laughs> Yeah, I got this igloo, 102. When I when I went fishing in the 60s and 70s, we had igloo. I, we had an igloo ice chest. Yeah, that's what we had. I remember the Coleman. The Coleman ice chests were made out of metal, but then you know they would rust after a while. But the igloo was made out of plastic, and the plastic wouldn't rust, so it was cool. 60, 70. But now this is a pretty good igloo ice chest at 52 dollars, at 52 quarts. It's a lot. It's expensive, but the ice stays good in there longer. Yeah. Zenus, last year, last year before before the end of the year, for most of the year, they were the number five bestseller for me, the Zenus uh, green tea mattress. I didn't know what green tea mattress was. I didn't know. But anyway, these, these mattresses, if you go ahead and click it in the carousel, they got a little video and shows you how they smashed them. They smash the mattress and put it in a box, in a small box. That's interesting. Even if you're not interested in buying a mattress, you might want to see that video. So I, I rocked and rolled with that product last year. Hey, I got a KitchenAid. One thing about having this KitchenAid, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can right here. This KitchenAid right here, 
The one thing good about that is that you can do all kinds of things with it. You can put, you can buy all the accessories to make pasta. Yeah, you can make pasta, all kinds of pasta. Now, when I started in the business, when I started in the food business, there was only one kind of pasta. <sighs> you didn't hear anybody talking angel hair and fettuccine and linguine and bow tie and whatever. Everything was spaghetti. That's what we call everything. And in the sauces, they were called spaghetti sauce. That's what it was called. But now, here we are 50 years later, and everything's complicated. You got, you know, I'm sure this happens sometimes. You cook a particular pasta, and then your kids say, I didn't want fettuccine. I want an angel hair. Or I didn't want angel hair. I wanted some bow tie. So you got so many different options now. You got so many different options now that uh, the world is much more complicated, without a doubt. Hey, you know what? This item was a big time seller for me last year, and it stayed at that three ninety nine price. It lived at that price. Now I did see it go to three nineteen one time, though. It did. They did drop the. They dropped the price all the way to three nineteen. But that was like a once in a year. I don't know if they do that once or twice a year or something. I don't know. But anyway, three ninety nine. It stays at that price. You can cook. You can air fry a turkey in there, a fourteen pound turkey. It did real well. This winter air condition, we're getting hot again. In fact, the air condition is running here. You might have snow outside your house, but not I. Not I. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot in here. Yeah, it's hot. This particular winter air condition, it's got 14,000 BTUs. And the good thing about it is that, remember, 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 if you ever get a situation where your air condition goes out for a couple days, Let's say your air conditioning goes out on a Saturday. <laughs> Good luck would find somebody to fix your air conditioning. So anyway, let's say you go two days. If you had this, you could all live in the same room. I know you might not. It might not be a little inconvenience, but everybody would like that cool room during the summertime. So anyway, a lot of people bought this particular. When I put this in my carousel, it was five and a quarter when I first got started. It's four ninety nine. So the price is right. Oh, yeah, Donna B., yeah, you're lucky. You get service right away. You get service pretty fast. But this is really good, though. The thing that's good about this is that if you are in a hurricane or you got an ice storm or you just have a – or you just live in a city that can't get their power straight and you don't have power, you got to remember that generator that you may or may not have probably can't run too much stuff. But it can run this. It can run this air condition. It might not be able to run your AC, your main AC. So you might want this. But here's that. Here I put the two. I I see summer is coming. Summer is right around the corner. So I'll put the Westinghouse in here at $9.99. This is the number one selling item I had last year in 2021. The number two selling item is the one right next to it. The Duramax. One's 12500 One's uh 12,500 watts, the other one's 12,000 watts. It's got the power. It runs on gas. It runs on protein. Protein. It runs on protein. It runs on propane. It runs. You know, you know, I'm talking about that all the time. And the good thing about it is that it's electric start for the Duramax, but on the uh, on the Westinghouse, it's got the little clicker thing, you know, the key fob or whatever, and you get it started. All right, you got that. So anyway. Just think, I mean, I sell, I don't know, I, I've i sold hundreds of items, hundreds of different items, and the two best sellers are those two things right there I just showed you. And then the Fitbit Charge, Fitbit's my number one selling brand, but it didn't do it by itself. It wasn't just this by, this, by itself. Even though this is, was the fourth best selling item I had last year, it had help from the rest of the family, the Fitbit Charge 4 and the Fitbit Charge 5 and, and all the other Fitbits that are there. When it was all said and done, number one brand for me last year was Fitbit. There you go. This price is this price is right at 115. If you're looking for a if you're looking for an activity tracker and save a little money compared to the watch, because this is right now this is two and a quarter, so you save 110 bucks on the watch. You go to, go to that, and, and you get your you get your you get your um, your app you get the app and you can do all the stuff with it so it doesn't matter you don't have to buy the most expensive watch to get the app the app comes with the rest of them and you can do your portion control and all that kind of stuff there you go is that that app does some beautiful work without a doubt 
That's where I'm at. All right. I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. I got through my carousel. Uh, I, I what I'll do what I'll do here is let me see. I'm just gonna go ahead and name some names. And if I don't call you, I'm sure there might be one or two names I missed. And if I did, the you see the Fitbit, you got the Fitbit person. It does the same thing. It's the same. You got the same app. That's the main thing. It may give you slightly different infor, different information, but it gives you a lot of. Um, you got that app. That app is so awesome. Fantastic. Great. All right. I got. I'm just gonna call the names. If if you're left out, let me go ahead and add it. I don't think I left out too many people, but maybe I did. Who knows? I got Tanya. I got Choosing Happy from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I got CC. I got Eva. I got Evans. I got Richard from San Diego. I got Laurie B. I got Dread D from Houston, Texas. I got Awesome Mom. I got In It to Win It. Tina from New Hampshire. Home of home of the Lint Chocolate. Yeah. You got John Greathouse from, from Chicago, Illinois. You got Roberto Jr. You got Angelica. You got BLH. You got Margaret. You got Gavin. You got Alan. You got Bernadine. You got Jeff from Seattle, Washington. You got Victoria Diaz from Washington, too. We got a lot of people from the West Coast. You got Donna B, Serene G. You got Denise. You got Tink. You got Stacey M. You got Seahawks 1514. You got Chris Stone. You got Candy. Kmart Kelly. You got Prince of Shadows, you got the Cookbook Diva, and you got Stacy M. Hey, I'll just say this again. Cookbook Diva is a live streamer. Uh, she does stuff on cookbooks. Her her stuff is related to my stuff. I tell you what you can buy, and she tells you what you can cook. <laughs> it's the same, you know, she's got a whole bunch of different cookbooks. I saw her live stream for the first time right before I went live. So that's all. She's just highlighting all the different cookbooks. That's what she does. Everybody's got a niche. I got the food niche. She's got the cookbook niche. That's that's that. Did I leave anybody out? I didn't say Alley Cat. Let's see. I didn't. I did not. I did not. All right, good. Let's see how many I missed. Alley Cat. Okay, I got. I got you in the hat. I got you in the hat. Thanks. I have the Fitbit versa. Let's see. I don't. I think that's it. I don't think I left anybody off. I think I got. I think I got it. Think I got it. Think I got it. All right. Well, that's gonna that's gonna do it for me here. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump off. I I will be back. I might be back. No, who knows when I'm up? It's only three fifty. I could be back two or three. I don't know, maybe two or three more times. But the main thing is that you're already in. You're already in. You're in. You're in the hat. You're in the hat. And you know that the drawing is at 10, 10 central time. Oh, 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 let me lay down the rules. Let me lay down the rules. I forgot. I forgot about the rules. Calvin Calvin made the rules. Let me run the, run the rules with Calvin. Let me see. Where is he at? Where is Calvin at? Let me see. Where is Calvin? I forgot. Calvin got the rules. He makes it easy for me because he set the rules. Here we go. Here's Calvin. Good. Hey, Calvin, you think we ought to do a gift card giveaway today? Yep. Uh, you sure? Yep. If anyone gets a gift card, they get $25 in there. Well, how are we going to do that? We're going to pull it right out of the secret hat. Out of the secret hat? <laughs> because the secret hat has a lot to say. It's got luck on it. got luck in that hat, huh? In that lucky hat? Yep. It's got a lot to say. So, All right, twenty-five dollar gift card. Keep okay. the secret. Okay, okay. they gotta be. Um, let's see. You they gotta, gotta be, be eighteen years old. Uh, no, no kids, right? No. You can't be a kid. You gotta be eighteen years old. You gotta live in the United States, right? All right. Yeah, you gotta have an address. And and, and you gotta have an email address too. Right. And you gotta be present when we, when we pull the pull the Dang. name, right? Because uh, if you're not there, you're not getting it. Yeah. Like David always says. What David says? You got to be 18 years old to oh. get a gift card. Yeah. Okay. You got to ask your parents permission. 
Oh yeah, that's that's for his gift card, but I'm I'm sticking with the adults here. Sticking with I'm the sticking adult, with the adults, adult yeah. Gift card. Yeah, it's all adults, Calvin. Like all adults are mine. That gift. Is that a good idea? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Do a, we're gonna stick with the we're gonna stick with the adults on this one. Do, uh, all do, right. Dad. Yeah. What time are you about to pull? At ten thirty. Yeah, we're we're always shoot for about ten ten. We'll see if the time's gonna be ten ten. I'm gonna try ten ten every day. Oh, guess what? If they, uh, uh, everybody that wins the twenty-five dollar gift card up until Mardi Gras is gonna have a shot. Everybody that wins, their name's gonna go in your hat again for a hundred dollar gift card. Yep. That's gonna be for Mardi Gras day. Yep. Hey, I'm gonna have to see if I can get you to pull the name. I'm gonna have to get you to pull the name. I'll be glad to do that. Okay. Well, then we might hey. do that. Ah, oh well. Yeah, it's not the audio wasn't perfect, but at least uh, you got the rules. Calvin, Calvin set the rules. He set the rules. You gotta be there at ten ten. Gotta be there at ten ten. You gotta be an adult. You gotta live in the U.S. You can't be you can't be on the move. You gotta have a home somewhere so that you know you can live in an apartment. You can live in a house. You know wherever you, wherever you live. You gotta have an address so we can find you. I can't send. I can't send a. I can't send a email. I can't send the thing out if you don't. If you don't have that, so that's what the deal is. So he's got the rules. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off right here. I will be back later. You never know when I'm gonna pop back up. So we got we got approximately 30 people that have entered. Yesterday we had 61. So as we get closer to 10:10, we'll pick up a lot more. Um, you know, a lot more people trying to get the $25 gift card. And the deal is with the $25 gift card, if you win the $25 gift card, then you get a you get a free ride over to the Calvin's Hat on Mardi Gras Day. I'm going to pull a gift card for 100 bucks. I never did a 100 buck gift card. That'll be the first one and we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. So if you won, so the whole deal is you haven't won, you got to try to win before it's before we go ahead and make that said that big drawing on the first of March. All right, I'm out of here. I'm gonna jump. Uh, I'm gonna jump through the door if I can find the door. I think the door is somewhere over here. All right, I'll see y'all a little later. All right, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. And the follower count. Hey, if uh, by the way, if you're if you're not following me, hit that follow button. I can use a few extra followers. Just a few. Just a few. All right, thanks a lot. See ya. Okay, I'm out of here.